don't buy a waterfront property in Biloxi unless Hi, I'm Brian David, broker owner at Expect Realty, and I've helped people buy and sell a lot of waterfront property. And I've got five critical questions that you should be asking yourself before you commit to purchasing. These five questions are not in any particular order of importance. Number one is to ask yourself, why? Is it for the views? Is it to go fishing? Do you have a boat? Do you plan to have a boat? Do you plan to entertain? Will there be small children? Living on the water can obviously be dangerous, not only from the water itself, but from things that live around the water. Think about what your use of the property is going to be because not all waterfront properties are made the same. Some of these properties are beachfront, some are on the bay, some have deep water and some have not much water at all. We have canals and bayous and we have a lot of riverfront properties. So take some time to envision how you will use the property and consult with several professionals along the way so that they can guide you to a property that'll make you happy for many, many years to come. Number two, do you plan to have a pier or a dock? Maybe a bulkhead or a boathouse with a lift? What about a boat ramp? There's a lot that goes into planning these items. In addition to your home inspection, I would consult with a couple of companies that actually build bulkheads and piers and boat houses, install boat lifts, and get their take on it. Get estimates for new construction or for repairs that might be needed. In most cases, permitting is going to be required. Definitely for new construction and most repair work will require a permit as well. The state is very particular about the marsh and other aquatic grasses. They do not like you to disturb them in any way. One additional factor to consider is the utilities. How far will this be from the house? Number three, do you plan to have a boat docked at the house? We just finished talking a little bit about that, but what about the amount of water, or better said, the depth of the water around the pier? And what is the draft of your boat? How much water does it draw? A very popular boat around here is an open water fisherman, up to about a 22, maybe a 24 foot boat, can draft less than two foot of water. So they can get in a lot of tight areas. However, if you plan to have a bigger boat that drafts three, four, or more foot of water, you're definitely going to want to consider the locations of the properties that you're considering and whether they're gonna be able to support such a vessel or a future vessel that you might have. Number four, do you need navigable waters? Do you need deep water access? Do you need all year access? Or do you just plan to take a kayak out? These are major considerations when choosing the location of your new waterfront home. Also, think about where you might be using your boat the most. Do you plan to travel out to our barrier islands on a regular basis? It's a very popular activity that a lot of people participate in. Not only do they go out there to sun and just hang out, but fishing is phenomenal out around the islands. From the mouth of Back Bay, that's about a 20 to 40 minute trip, depending on the speed of your boat and the weather conditions. If you purchase a house at the west end of Back Bay, you've just doubled that amount of time it takes to get out to the islands. So consider the types of boating activities that you plan to do, whether it's offshore fishing, a day at the island, or going up the river water scheme. Number five, are you prepared to deal with hurricanes, flooding, and other storm damage that comes with living on the water? Living on the water can be very rewarding. It's a lot of fun, but with it comes a price. High cost of insurance, loss of property, and having to evacuate can definitely become a pain. So here's a bonus, critters, pests, and things that sting. When you live near the water, there are all sorts of opportunities to engage with nature. Water moccasins, potentially alligators, also gnats. I call them flying teeth. Living near marsh grass, bayous, and brackish water will bring out a lot of these things. Now, wait a minute. I know I just gave you a whole lot of challenges to living on the water, and you might be thinking, is this something that I really want to do? But I will tell you, it is super rewarding. It is a lot of fun. There's nothing like pulling up from the island in your boat, putting it on the boat lift, washing it down and walking up to the house. No boat ramps, no congestion, no people to deal with. And there's nothing like waking up in the middle of the night, going down to the pier, turning on the fishing lights and catching trout. 
giant trout with no one around, no one to deal with, just peace and quiet in you and Mother Nature. And of course, watching the sun rise while sipping on a cup of coffee or watching it set with friends and cool drinks. If you'd like to learn more about purchasing waterfront property, feel free to give me a call, shoot us a message here at Expect Realty. We'd love to point you in the right direction or even represent you, answer all your questions and help you find a property that'll make you absolutely happy for many years to come. 